Welcome back to another part of Resident Evil Village, or Resident Evil 8. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the final part, but let's see what's going to happen. If you do enjoy, leave a like, and let's get into it. Alrighty then, we are back. I did play a little bit around with the... Quite a few settings that we were using inside my OBS, so... Hopefully this will be a little bit better. Got a long way to go. Yes, we do have a very long way to go, that's for sure. I did change the color a little bit. I did change my recorder, like how it uh, records, because I saw a little bit of FPS lag, so. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us? No. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. I don't give a shit about your family drama. I don't care too much about those enemies either, but uh, yeah, let's get it. We don't have that many uh, pistol ammo. I don't know if we can craft any. Doesn't look like it. We can craft some more assault rifle ammo, which could be useful over here. Okay, so looking up, we got to destroy these things. Because it's almost impossible to aim at that one. You have to be at a very specific spot. So over here they're gonna spawn two enemies that we have to take care of. Don't know if that is enough. Still can't craft ammo. We've got some sniper ammo there, which could be very useful. So we need to shoot one more. So if we run, we could get past one of them. Was that two hits? Okay, we'll just kill them. Wow, dude. Yeah, this shotgun is insane. Eh? That's the whole thing switched off. I don't know, man. This shotgun feels a little bit too good to be true. You know what I'm saying? Just want to check if there's any loot here, because I'm not too sure. There's something, something here. 2,100 lei, I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Hopefully the saturation is not too much. So we got the factory map here. Now we can view the map for some reason. Dude, I can push this. I've never been in here before. Yo. The game is a little bit laggy, dude. That is the crank we maybe need. I don't think we can break this wall. I mean, we could uh, we could try with a pie bomb. Yeah, we can't. Okay, so we got. Uh, dude, I'm not gonna like. I don't want to lie, but I think we got the thing to access the. The wells, right? Shit, 
That was close. <sighs> Not even close, baby. Why are you running like this now? What's wrong with you? Uh, what's wrong with you? Well, check what's on this side. Got some scrap here. I think that's pretty much it we could get here. There's more scrap. And I changed the colors and stuff like that so that you guys can see the game a little bit better. Um, might be a little bit better for horror games, to be honest. Take Rose? Huh. I'd like to see you try. But Ethan, they did take Rose. They did take her. They don't have to try, they already have her. Uh, there's more? Okay, so we need. Uh, the next objective is to go into this room right here, but unfortunately, uh, to get there. To get there, we need to uh, craft the key, so we need to head back. Pretty much the position we came from. The problem with this is there's going to be an extra enemy that we have to deal with. Uh, but as you guys saw, I, I literally gave them one shotgun shell and they were dead. So, uh, don't know what that's about. So it seems like this shotgun is extremely strong. Um... But we'll see how things will go. Uh, we also have the multi-grenade launcher, which we can shortcut now to four. Since we don't have any ammo anymore for rocket pistol. We have a, a good amount of... Assault rifle ammo, which is great. Uh, that guy's weak point is on his back, so we can actually try and take care of him here. Still only one hit, which is absolutely insane. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the thingy to craft. Okay, so we need to craft the key. And then we're gonna go to the right here because there's another room we couldn't explore before. <sighs> A 
And then we can craft this, whatever this is. It actually might be a bowl, by the way. Oh, it's the bowl, dude. Okay, so we can play the minigame then. So first of all, we're just gonna go here. The horse key. Okay, we'll use a pie bomb for these. Doesn't kill them even. Yeah, there's the other part of the maze. So I told you guys, mechanical parts, we might get the other one later. So we found it over here. Uh, so all we could do now is combine them. It's treasure. So this one. Uh, so this one combine. Yes. And then we have the actual hammer here. And that thing will be worth so much more. So now the combination is done. Now we can go uh, back into the lift and play that game. Uh, just keep in mind that you want to be as fast as possible during this part, guys, because uh, they are going to spawn two different enemies. I will show you how to dodge both without fighting them. So this one, you just run. He's going to spawn here, but you just run past him like this. Uh, there's another one coming up uh, a little bit closer to the lift. Uh, he's going to be a little bit harder to get by, uh, but you have to crouch against the corner. So this one right here. So you crouch and and uh, just put your hands up. Yo, I don't know what happened there. Like, my PC failed or something. I might need to look at the temperature of my PC. Uh, so we're going to use the lift over here. We're going to go to the first floor. I think while I do that, I'm going to just look at my temperature. Okay, so no idea what that is because my temperature is fine. Uh, so we're coming into this room. Uh, this is where the room is uh, for this mini game right here. So we'll get that bowl up there. There it is. Okay, so we'll slide it down here. And then we'll get it in there. <gasps> okay, I threw it, miss. Uh, so we'll try again. It's so hard to see because you can't move your camera. Oh, you can rotate it. Okay, look at that. I didn't know. So I could rotate like this. So coming down here. We want to get it inside this. There we go. So we got it rotated there. Uh, okay, the cart is underneath. There we go, we are in the cart. Okay, that works. We and we're in. And there we go, a game is played, and uh, now we could just sell this part back. Shall I choose something for you? Uh, well, you don't have to choose. Life. Let's see here. Uh, we're gonna sell all of this, all of that, a little bit. Look at that, forty-five thousand. 45,000 late to combine them. So if you guys are unsure what that is, it is Heisenberg's hammer. You will part with 
this? No, no, I'm more than happy to purchase it. Okay, we can upgrade our Magnum. Our shotgun is fully upgraded with damage-wise. So we can upgrade this Magnum. Delighted to. We are literally 500 short. Your coin. Okay, uh, that is maxed out for now, but you can see here where my mouse is, there's two more slots open. Uh, so, unfortunately, we didn't go got this yet. I don't think we will. An investment, even. Okay, so... There's a bus coming up now. Uh, the bus when we started Heisenberg Zone. Uh, when we fell down, uh, it was like... A chopper head, a motor head enemy. Uh, we're gonna fight this one now. The best one to, the best way to fight it is uh, with caution, only shooting the back part of uh, the motor. And the way you could only get the back part is by trying to bait out charge attacks. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want it to flame you. Uh, you want charge attacks to hit you, so or, or uh, come close to you. So we probably will use. Feel free to pause and read if you want. I'm tired of chit chat. Time to die. You can hear it, can't you? Someone waiting for you. Someone, don't you mean something? I don't know if we should use the shotgun against them. It could it could actually work. Okay, let's do this. Okay, shooting fire. Are you kidding me with the shotgun, dude? Now stay down. Are you actually kidding me with the shotgun? Is this is this gun that I have glitched? We gave him two shots. I played multiple times with Magnum only, and that didn't even give it two shots. Did I just find the strongest gun in the game? Is it glitched? Feel free to read this, guys. Pause. Read. Eat. So there's two more bosses left to go. It's Mother Miranda and Heisenberg. Heisenberg boss happens really fast. It's like literally the next thing we do. Uh, but to get to Mother Miranda, we have to play the whole Chris playthrough also. By the way, I don't think you can fall off there. It doesn't even matter if you try. Okay, let's do this. What the? I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. Don't come back. <laughs> Uh, 
That bastard. I really dislike the fact Again? that they destroyed technically Heisenberg. He was like a god level tier human or whatever, anti human. I don't know what he is, but he could control metal. And now when he turned into that thing, it's, he's like a super weak blob of metal. <laughs> I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. It seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Now tell me your story. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything! That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this. And do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. No promises. You can't turn back now. Why not? Look at me. I'm turning back. Easy. Easy. Okay, that's a that's a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm uh, that's why I have under 100 subscribers, right? Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I'm coming, Rose. The weird part is that we're getting into this machine. It doesn't matter, like, the equipment that's around it. Uh, you could still control metal, so, like... I don't know how to say this. The the bullets we hear should still be controlled uh, by Heisenberg, but it, it's clearly not. So I would have loved to have like a normal human Heisenberg fight. And you have infinite ammo, by the way. So. God damn cartridge! You think you can take me on? Oh, that one hurt! I 
By the way, you just shoot them away every time it gets close. Having fun? In the face of my steel glory! Guess I do have to thank that bitch for anger for this. <laughs> I'll kill her with the gun she did. That's oh, I got it, that one. Good sir! <laughs> Pushing him away again. Shooting the face. And then shoot the weak points, the red spots. I Okay, he's down. Three hits with a shotgun, dude. Three. What the heck is the shotgun? It feels like a glitch. So long, <laughs> Should have taken my deal. Uh, 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 you only follows in the afterlife. Lose his powers won. Right after I murdered the man. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> And easiest boss fight of the game. Ethan? I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor. Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Miranda. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? 
Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother! Bound for eternity in blood! <laughs> I've waited so long, but dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child again. Your mother Miranda is such a badass. I really love her as a as a character. Uh, used to also love Heisenberg, but I don't know. His boss fight is so bad. Elizabethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Fought together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Spooky indeed. Eh? This is most probably one of the hardest parts in the game. That's coming up now. Hey Alpha, look at this. The 
this AA. They've gone too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. How am I still getting Steam achievements? Mapilation was the achievement. In contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. This one that we thought. Watch out. Very, very important that you use your pistol for the first few enemies. Very, very important. Okay, we made it our way in. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. Okay, this part you just want to run as fast as you can. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. There's two large enemies here. Large mutated bioweapon sight. And you want to avoid going left here because there's more enemies. Keep your mouth sealed. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. You don't want to go for that. Rise. I need some backup. I see you. You might be tempted to go to the house for the loot. Don't do it. Trust me. There is so many enemies when you go there. I've never heard of you two I see clearly to be so huge. Okay, pistol is done. So it's Dragoon time. Large enemy should spawn here now, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So it's a good time to use a grenade. Yeah, I think we downed them. Another group, we could uh, grenade this. There's a lot of enemies here. Like, I'm not even joking. We could just run here. There we go, we did it. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. So don't just mark the target because uh, there'll be infinite enemies spawning. Uh, it's very important that you run here because it's free at the moment. Uh, grab all the loot you can. Check out your surroundings, your environment. Uh, 
and grab all the loot, okay? Very important that you do that first. Just a minute. There's a swarm headed that way. Almost failed it. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. We almost failed it. Okay, so over here you want to use uh, your grenades, by the way. I don't know why it didn't work. We'll have to use another one for the big guys. Okay then. And this guy will keep asking. Expanding. Where is it point? BSA guys are engaging the bioweapons. You're right, Captain, they must be after the Megamyce C2. Take that! Good. The Megamyce C must be below. Okay, so it's very important that you do that because um, they will keep spawning regardless of how many you kill. And then we just have to drop down here. I found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers and... Uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Huh? So his weak point is on his back, by the way. Lobo, I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. Boss, you're on the ground. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. Doing really good so far. Don't shoot his gun now. When he's keep swinging, just block. He'll be fine. Should be dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. I'll keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. That was a really good boss fight. Not bad at all. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. 
So you could do a little trick here if you want to. I found it. It's the Mega I did it too soon. But you can make some fireworks in this cutscene. Alpha the squad. I've located the Mega So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but... We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. This must be Miranda's lab. So guys, there's a lot of documents to read here if you wanted to. I'm just gonna point that out. Um, feel free to read this. I don't really want to look at every book. Uh, but maybe for the purposes. If you are interested in this, maybe uh, I'll just do that. So, just looking at the names and stuff like that, that is definitely the four heroes that was involved, or four of these guys. There's Kado again. Makeup done. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. More pictures. Spencer, here. No way. Spencer died in Resident Evil 5, dude. Wesker killed Spencer. And if he's not dead in Re8, then he should be like 95, 100 years old, dude. And still in a wheelchair, most probably. Unless they figured out a way to, like, uh... To, to actually... Uh, grow, grow younger again. So that looks like Barry in the top left, uh, second from the left. Right, looks like Barry, somewhat. No idea who these people are, even. Show me your hands! Now show me those nips. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... He's gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is.
So special that it can grow a heart. Yes, that must be extremely special. To save Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt, remember. Three years ago, the Baker House, you were murdered by Jack. You died there. Three years ago. Th that's, that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw you! What, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose, Mia, I... sure about that nah, i'm just joking final boss uh, up ahead i wonder how strong this boss will be versus that shotgun at last he awakes where am i 
My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. <clears throat> the one question I keep asking is, if you can grow, if you can grow a heart back, how can't you grow your fingers back? Right. Right. Duke's Emporium has everything you need for your decisive battle. <sighs> because of all this commotion, I've lost an entire territory to transact in. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Ammo capacity. One moment, please. Aha! Well, we can purchase something here we couldn't before. The SIG-12 at the M 1911 Just another pistol. Uh, let me just see here. Firepower 16. Pretty sure the one we have is stronger. Yeah. A lot stronger. Uh, it's all- it's close to- well, it's close to 50% stronger. I saw you eyeing that one. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, let's do this. Please, be well. Thanks. So, we have, what's it, 42 bullets? Let's see how strong Miranda will be against this. Out of my way! That's what Leon said and Rito also. Ah, uh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva, is that you? Give Rose to me! Now! You will see. 
Once I kill you properly, every- Get her now! Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamites. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with true happiness. So now you can die peacefully. You understand I the level of pain not let you get away. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn The Megamite saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All the dust drive you nuts. <laughs> I can take any form I desire. Come here, girl. Even your loving wife. Die. <laughs> Looks like in this form we can't damage her. <laughs> Yeah, it's important that you uh, use the other one, so F. <laughs> there we go. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things. If you blind her, it instantly stops. Yes. The hell? If I combine Rose with Omega Mice, my daughter will be made manifest at last. I've waited a century. Give me my wool spine. A century! For this day, hold still. After all, everyone dies. <laughs> My wolf spine again. Why do you? So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter. I think that's all ammo, yeah. So we'll go back to the shotgun. Psycho! You walking corpse. We got her. This is how you end the To ensure I never see you. I will feed you!
Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> And you tell yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Go! Go! Take us up now! Wait! Where's Ethan? Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? What was that? I told you to sit down. He's gone! I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's gotta pay.
gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, because now it's just uh, all the credits coming up here. Pretty awesome song also. We're gonna skip this because there's an epilogue. Let's check out the epilogue, dude. And this epilogue is also part of the Rose DLC, which we'll cover very shortly. <laughs> Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a cute thing. It Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. I wish there was a little bit more elaboration here. Because the person walking up to the car... ...is Ethan. By the way. And I was hoping in the DLC that you will have more info regarding that, but... ...it is exactly the same ending here, in this epilogue... Uh, ...than it is inside the DLC. So I, I'm not... I'm not very happy happy with that particular ending. I, I was hoping there would be something added more towards, you know, maybe like uh, a cutscene afterwards. What happens? Is Ethan back? I mean, obviously we can read here the father's story is now done. That means Ethan is now no longer the main character. So if there ever comes out a Resident Evil 9, which will happen, let's be honest, uh, you will not play Ethan. You might even play Rose, 
I doubt that because she's way too strong. Uh, the enemies that you <laughs> will fight will not be strong enough to face her. So, But yeah, we will definitely cover the DLC. And here's the stats. Uh, we played 5 hours and 27 minutes. Just want to say that I did do quite a bit of things in between videos. Uh, where I just, I, I just didn't care to pause and stuff like that. So um, my upload time is pretty much the time that we did finish the game. Normally at the end, I would like to give a conclusion and a rating. Uh, just got to be honest, guys. Resident Evil 8 is definitely a step up. If you think about Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 8. Uh, Resident Evil 8 is a, a big step up from the previous Resident Evils from 5, 6, 7. Uh, 7 is decent. Uh, I, I always say that. 7 is a, a decent game. Uh, but it's, it's still a lot better than 5 and 6, right? So... To be honest, I'm very happy with this game. I think this game is definitely uh, one of the best Resident Evils, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, Resident Evil 2 Remake is my favorite, uh, still out of all the games. That is also the game that I played the most. Um, but yeah, Resident Evil 3 Original is also one of my favorites, and we haven't played that yet on this channel. And then uh, uh, Revelations 2 is also a game that I really love a lot. I don't like Revelations 1, but Revelations 2 is a fantastic game. So if I, if I have the power of Capcom, what I would do is, after Resident Evil 4 Remake, I would start working on Revelations 2. Um, oh, sorry, Revelations 3. Uh, because the storyline in that is really intriguing. It's really awesome. Uh, I, I hope that they can, they can get you know, to that. Instead of working on, on, on Resident Evil 9. Don't care too much about Resident Evil 9. Couldn't care less. I, I, I'm, I'll be more of a fan if they, if they would announce Code Veronica X Remake or uh, Revelations 3. Uh, so I would love to know what they're going to work on next. But anyway, guys, my conclusion about this game is it's a huge step up if you compare it to Resident Evil 5, 6, and 7. Uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic step up. Uh, multiple different ways to play the game and enjoy it. Uh, there's so many different secrets in this game that I didn't even cover within the series. Uh, but yeah, it's a fantastic game. There's so many different weapons. You can get, and you can get every single gun of uh, infant ammo if you want to do that. There's, there's also mercenaries in here uh, that you can farm a lot more CP. And CP will be spent by buying uh, infant ammo. I think you can also buy some costumes if I'm not mistaken, but... Uh, I think it's just mostly just comes to infinite ammo. But yeah, my conclusion is, guys, give this game a 9 out of 10. It's not perfect. Like I said, some of this dialogue is... Or some of the animations just doesn't make sense. Uh, for example, like very early in the game, uh, when the father um, of the daughter, right, in part 1, uh, they were both standing over fire. They were not screaming of the pain. And to be honest, that will be absolutely insane heat on you. You would get uh, 12 degree burns, right? If that makes any sense. And um, they just didn't even scream. They were talking normally as if, the, as if there was no heat under them. Um, your, your skin would boil that close to a fire that big. You would die in seconds. You wouldn't even die from falling into the fire. You would die by being cooked above it, you know, like, I, I don't know. Um, so that, that is one thing. Uh, the other thing is also the father just coming out there and his clothes are still intact. Right? Like, what? So that whole cutscene I would have done completely different if I was working at Capcom because obviously gravity is a thing. Heat is a thing, right? You can't be that close to... Uh, fire or right above fire and don't even feel pain so I would have done that whole cutscene differently um, but yeah that is not the only thing I mean there is multiple things that I forgot to mention I mean uh, puzzles in this game for example I wanted to I wanted to get to every well and see what's inside of it I just never found the thing to open it so in order to like play this game 100% within one run, you'll have to spend quite a bit of time 
either on YouTube or on Google doing research on how to get stuff. And I, I, I feel like a game should not be like that. You, you should be able to have stuff in your possession, whether it's like reading books, looking at pictures inside the game. You should be, you should be finding the things inside the game and be like, yo, you need to go there in order to find it. Um, I, I, I prefer having a navigation system in games uh, to avoid, you know, spending time outside of the game to do research. Uh, so yeah, that is not cool that I never found that object and never had an indication uh, where to find that object to, to, to lift the wells up. But anyway, guys, that's my conclusion. 9 out of 10. This is definitely a step up from the previous Risen Evils. Uh, Risen Evil 7 is decent, like I said before. Uh, but it's a big step up from 5, 6, and 7. I still think 6 is... The keys is completely terrible. And they could have worked, worked out a better system than that. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the very next video. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.